Hello, my name is Ola, and I'm going to react to two Mortal Kombat Mythologies Sub Zero on the N64. This was, oh, by Angry Veal Gimner. This was recommended to me by A. Grimes, Ugaldi Martinez, JW, Arcadium, and Usman Tariq. Thank you, all of you, for the recommendation. Um, yeah, I've heard this was a uh, pretty bad <laughs> Mortal Kombat game compared to the rest of them. Uh, and it's all about Sub Zero. But anyway, uh, yeah, like I, like man, I've never seen this game, never heard of it. Uh, I have no idea what it's about, but I'm guessing it's about Sub Zero. So, uh, yeah, let's check this out. And if you want to like, comment, subscribe, my channel, you can if you don't want to. That's fine too. Here we go. Well. Christmas is almost here again, already. The cold weather's kicking in, the snowfall, the ice, it's gonna get below freezing, maybe even sub-zero, which mm. reminds me. Ah, yes, Nintendo 64 end labels. The greatest invention ever. When Nintendo drops the ball, the fans pick it up. Here it is, Mortal Kombat Mythologies Sub-Zero. This is one Mortal Kombat game that I have never played before. But how could that be? It was one of my favorite video game franchises. Mortal Kombat! Yeah, in the 90s, Mortal Kombat was the fucking tits. Everybody was obsessed with it. When it came to fighting games, Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat were as essential as food and water. I'll never forget my first time seeing the original game in the arcades. I distinctly remember catching a glimpse of it between the shoulders of bigger kids crowding around it. I was impressed by the graphics, the realistic human figures, and shocked by the excessive blood and gore. Yeah. It was awesome. It was one of the games to inspire the rating system. When it came to home consoles, nobody knew what to do. The Genesis version had a code to unlock the blood, while the Super Nintendo version left it out altogether. But starting with Mortal Kombat 2, it was blood for all. How to do the finishing moves and how to unlock secret characters was a daily school bus and lunchtime conversation. Fantastic. You could be the most geeky, socially awkward kid in school, but as soon as you'd show up passing around Mortal Kombat codes, you were the ultimate hero. There was a mystique to these games. It was all about secrets and rumors, such as a swearing code and a nude code. One time somebody printed out a move list which they got from connecting their computer to their telephone line. It was like science fiction shit, but it turned out to be an early form of something even bigger than life itself, called the internet. As I remember it, the mid-90s was the peak of Mortal Kombat fever, which led up to Mortal Kombat Trilogy in 96. It combined everything you wanted from the first three games. With new generation game consoles like PlayStation and N64, the games were getting closer to arcade quality, and that's what we all wanted, to be able to play the arcades in our own home. And then in 97 Damn. came Mythologies Sub-Zero. So why haven't I played this one before? Could it be that I was distracted by Mortal Kombat 4, which came out close to the same time? Or was it because I heard that it was very different from all the other games? All these years, I've been trying to get around to playing it, because anything Mortal Kombat related, you gotta play it. It can't be that bad, right? Huh. Oh, wait, 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 what the, what the fuck? God! Okay, you have to press B to turn around. In all the other Mortal Kombat games, you automatically faced your opponent, but here, every time you jump to the other side, it's one extra button you gotta press. This is like Karate Champ bullshit. I can understand why this might be necessary, because unlike other Mortal Kombat games where you fight your opponents one at a time, here, you're fighting multiple enemies, so if you find yourself in between two of them, you might need to turn around. Sometimes it turns automatically. Yeah, you never know. So after you jump, you'll hit the button only to find that you turned yourself the wrong way. All right, well, that ruins the whole game. Game sucks. Case closed. Should I just end the video right now? Or could the game get even worse? Oh God. Obviously, you play as Sub-Zero. I suppose if the game caught on, they would have made a whole mythology series starring all the different characters, and I think that is what they were intending. Well, I'm glad they didn't quit their day job. The day job being real Mortal Kombat. 
There are some RPG elements. When you fight enemies, you earn experience points, gain inventory, and learn special moves, like Sub-Zero's trademark ice projectile. Mm -hmm. But being so familiar with the other Mortal Kombat games, it comes off as more of a tease that you don't already have it from the start. Oh! oh. Now they're gonna start doing that shit! Alright, wait for it. Wait for go, 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 go. it. Ah. Now I'm on a ledge. What, what do I do here? Jump? Oh, of course not. Huh. Oh, you just drop down and bounce off the awning. Yeah, okay. Your mother, your mother! Mm. Oh god, there's too many guys! What? More of these? Oh, okay, okay, okay. easy does it. Ah! Oh, get the fuck out of my way! Ah! Yeah, did you see that? Yeah. I fucking squashed that bitch! Oh. Fuck! <laughs> run, 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 no, 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 can't run, can't walk, can't fucking do anything! After you make it through, by some miracle, you'll fight Scorpion. It's a one-on-one -on -one battle and looks Get just like traditional hill. Mortal Kombat. It looks like it, but trust me, it doesn't feel like it at all. Hmm. If only you knew. If only you were the one holding the controller right now, you'd know exactly what I mean. Here, take it. Yeah, I know. You would if you could. But trust me, don't. If I was jumping off a bridge, would you do it too? Nah, this is jumping off a bridge. And I'm not happy. Afterwards, you get a cutscene. <laughs> this is where I should mention that the game was also on PlayStation. It's very similar, oh. but the most noteworthy difference is that on the N64, the cutscenes are just still images and text, but with the PlayStation version, since it was a CD-based console, it was able to have full motion video and audio. I am Scorpion. You killed me in cold blood. Um, just stick to Mortal Kombat Annihilation. <laughs> Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Dude, you're flying! Whoa! <laughs> what the hell is going on? Oh, jeez, right. oh, I just outran the screen. <laughs> Gotta give some credit for the 3D or 2.5D backgrounds. Another basic problem is that to jump, oh. you press up. In any typical Mortal Kombat game or any tournament fighter, that's normal. But in a platforming jumping game, up is fucked up. Sometimes you intend to step back, but your thumb slides across up and you jump by accident. The entire level two is all about hopping these platforms. Come on, you son of a bitch. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, fuck. Oh, get out of my way. I'm just trying to. Oh, okay. That makes it easier. He took himself out. For many of these what? jumps, you have to wait to ride the wind current. Or not. Okay, should I jump then? <sighs> Sometimes the wind comes right away, but other times you have to wait for it. And then there's times when you have to jump blindly, a leap of faith. And then there's times when I don't even know. <laughs> As if that's not bad enough, then you have to start jumping oh, on these dude. spoons. You don't have much uh, control over your spoons? jumps. Oh. It's always the same arch from wherever you last stood. Once you're in the air, there's nothing else you can do. Oh. Even when you do land <laughs> on the spoons, you don't really land on them. You sort of magnetize to them. And I love how abruptly the continue screen appears. Watch this. Wow. Wow. They didn't waste any time. Unlike Symphony of the Night, where it takes like three fucking hours! You'll be busy fighting, and then all of a sudden this screen comes up, and you might accidentally hit no. But it doesn't matter anyway, because I've been using passwords to skip ahead. And even then, the game is impossible. It's one cheap death trap after another. Oh, come on! That is low. And it's a real fair fight when there's all this shit on the screen. Foreground obstructions. Real classy. Also, it's one of those where the fuck do I go type of games. Yeah, you know, the kind that make you say where the fuck do I go? <laughs> How about down here? Nope, another dead end. Okay, what do I do now? 
What? Oh, 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 oh! Dude! Ah! No! That's so unfair, dude. <laughs> I hate this. Where do I jump? Where, where do I jump? I can't kick this. Guy. I can't jump. The jump kick does. The, the jump kick never fails like this. Ah! Fuck! Shit! Fuck! Ah! Oh, that's a long ball. <gasps> I didn't know there was a transformer in the game. Yeah, I was it's blaster. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh, 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 oh. No wonder I haven't played this one before! This is anal sauce! Fatality! Fatality! Nerd wins! Hope you enjoyed that episode. I have something to tell you for fans of physical media who want to own the first 100 nerd episodes in your collection. We now have Angry Video Game Nerd Volume X out on a Blu-ray. So you can see what we did there. We had Volumes 1 through 8. Now it's X, like Mega Man. Uh, this is the same stuff. Just so you know, all these episodes were previously released on DVD, so there's nothing new here. The reason you would get this is if A, you don't already own them, or B, if you want to watch the first 100 episodes in one marathon, which would be about 19 hours. You could do that. It's possible. Um, so it's 100 episodes on one disc, about 19 hours. And in addition to that, there's a second disc that comes with it that's about seven hours of bonus material. These are the bonus material... Uh, bonus content from the previous <laughs> DVDs that goes up to 100. It stops at episode 100. They're in standard definition because they were shot in standard definition, and the reason they're on a Blu-ray is to be able to fit so many of them. Uh, Blu-ray discs are a lot more expensive to manufacture than DVDs, but I think by cramming so many into them, it's a lot more cost effective. So mm. this would be if you want to own the episodes on fewer discs. Uh, it's on Amazon.com right now. You can get the link in the <laughs> description below and all the details there. Um, and uh, for those who don't own Blu-ray players, we are planning to get the old DVDs back in stock. There could still be AVGN Volume 9. That's still possible if you want it. And uh, we are going to put the newer episodes out. Um, the ones that were shot in HD will be on Blu-rays in the future. So we have a lot of work to do. Uh, the focus lately has been on getting all these videos done, uh, which we just did. You can see there's been a lot of videos on the site recently and on YouTube. So uh, I hope you enjoyed all them, uh, what we had this year. And uh, look out for all new stuff in 2016. Happy Holidays and Happy New Year. Yeah, happy holidays and happy new year to you too, nerd. God, that game is so bad. It seems like a kind of like the X Men. You know, when they had started with, uh, they were gonna do like an origin series. You know, like uh, it started off with X Men's Wolverine origins, but because of how I remember hearing news that they were gonna do like Magneto's origins movie story and something like that, and because of how bad Wolverine's was. They canceled it. You know, they stopped doing all of that because <laughs> of how bad it was. Uh, yeah, this this game is so bad, dude. Like the controls, and it's it just it doesn't like it just doesn't explain anything. Like it doesn't give you a single hint of like what to do. Like nothing, man. It just leaves you in the dark. Like oh, like you figure it out. Like <laughs> what the freak? I can see why it sucks. Imagine being a little kid and getting, getting this for Christmas. Like, man, I'd be so pissed. Like, no, nah, dude. Mm -mm. I want this out of my life forever. <sighs> anyway, uh, that's it. That's my reaction to Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero on the N64 by Angry Video Game Nerd. Everyone take care of yourselves and each other. Have a happy holidays, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.